friends we are now on 19th lesson of hashtag success sauce this is the 8th chapter hashtag win win obstinacy number 8.1 it so happened well i am telling about my stories friends and these are specific situations of challenges of toughness of crudeness rudeness that i crossed therefore you may pick up some points how to overcome challenges how to overcome jealousy how to overcome conspiracy those are the points uh, embedded in this story in a subtle manner you have to pick it up and use it in your life i am sure you will succeed so this was a situation when i was managing director of a company and uh, i was having a sort of tussle with my chairman because various irregular jobs that he had told me i had not done therefore he was looking for an opportunity to punish me if necessary sacking me from the board by declaring no confidence on me by the majority of the board members the background was that the company had made super profit that year and so much profit that uh, 11 crores were to be given by given to income tax uh, which was extraordinarily heavy amount and simultaneously there was a problem lurking was that isco means indian iron steel company was under bifr and in bifr the situation is they can refuse payment to any supplier and we were the supplier supplying them crushed scrap for their steel melting and managing director isco took full advantage of it and told me that he was ready to pay 12 crores out of 24 crores due if i agree to 50% discount the matter went up to the ministry and the discussion was held at the ministry top most level and i had two options whether to agree or not to agree and because of my knowledge of cost accountancy i knew that any very important matter if decided by 30th june of the next year it can be considered as part of earlier financial year since the profit was enormous 11 crores was to be paid to income tax and here 12 crores has to be given discount to isco that is where it stood there was no getting away from it so i thought let us not adjust these two i i had just 12 crores and i um, pay income tax almost nothing otherwise the company was having a burden of 33 crores which came down to only 10 or 11 crores for a small company which they could bear and this was the situation chairman took advantage of and wanted to have a special board meeting and that time i was having fever 
very high vi fever, viral fever, uh, running 105 degree temperature, so much so that the doctor felt that I should be hospitalized. And luckily for me, that night, the temperature started coming down. And after two, three, two, three days, when I was very weak and 103 degree temperature, my chairman gave a ring that you have to come for the board meeting in seven days' time at Delhi. I told him that in case you want me there at Delhi airport, please arrange an ambulance and also a doctor so that if I become very sick, they will take care of me at Delhi airport. And in case anything happens to me, you will be squarely responsible, uh, sir. He got nervous and postponed the meeting after for a few weeks. And when I was all right, I was there at the meeting. And in the meeting, the senior most director told me that in case you are not able to satisfy us, why did you do this, take this step? You will have to be face dismissal from the board because we can express dissatisfaction about your performance and you can be dismissed from the board. Then I told him, in case I am able to satisfy the board, then I do not want a promotion. W would I get a certificate of excellence? He was surprised. He said, yes. And then I told him the whole story that this is what accountancy tells me, accountancy rules uh, stand for. And I have done exactly as per accountancy rules. And 33 crores burden on a small company like FSNL would be the death knell. And instead of that, 12 crores it can easily manage. And when I had explained that to the board members, they were absolutely surprised that it is most prudent and wise step that I have taken to save the company. And then I said, now you can give me the certificate for performance, good performance. And I was given a certificate of good performance on this. And thereafter, there was another case where I was traveling with my director of finance from Bombay to Calcutta, and suddenly the um, aircraft became vertical instead of horizontal. And since pilot was very senior, he could manage the situation, and he said, that we are in extreme situation. I have already advised SOS in maximum priority to Calcutta airport. And I could see around me that everybody was perspiring as if approaching heart attack. And I had prayed to God that, well, take care of my family if you are taking me away. Fortunately, the plane landed absolutely safely. While coming out of the plane, I could see 40 fire engines on each side and 40 ambulances on each side of the plane. And then Director Finance, who was along with me, told me, sir, many people say they are not afraid of death. And today you have proved it. All of us were almost dead while you were absolutely cool and composed. Therefore, friends, take life as it comes. Be prudent, be wise, be cool, and always try to 
outwit the other man or come over the situation that you cannot buckle you down. 